Yeah, dog, Thomas G here with another cryptocurrency video for you guys. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the post notifications so that you know when the next video or live stream uh, takes place. Um, this is for all the people out there that are finding my channel that are fairly new to crypto. As you explore through my channel on YouTube and you follow me on Twitter or on X, I should say, I always say Twitter, um, you'll notice that I have a lot of DeFi protocols that I'm involved with. I'm part of the 1% crew of people that are in knee deep in crypto in places that most people wouldn't even imagine existed. But some of you are new. I want to be able to help you out. And a lot of you have contacted me and have said, what is this Pulse Chain? How can I bridge over? And I send you a link to the Pulse Chain bridge and you go, I actually don't use Ethereum. I can't afford the gas fees. I don't like the gas fees or I operate on Tron. And the number one question I have from about, I would say about 15 messages I've received uh, from viewers out there who have said, how do I go from Tron to Pulse Chain? Well, I'm going to give you the quick answer to that. The link will be in this description for simpleswap.io. This is where you could use this ex crypto exchange and you can go from Tron to Pulse Chain or from Pulse Chain to Tron, okay? By a click of a button and let me show you how to do that now. So we're here and what we want to do is we want to accomplish go into our wallets. You won't see me go on my wallet on camera for security measures. Whether you use a extension wallet for MetaMask, an extension wallet for Rabi wallet, or you're using the TronLink wallet, which is probably one of the most um, popular extensions, you're going to want to operate with your Tron wallet, whichever one that may be that you're using. When you go to crypto exchange, you're gonna see at the very top for uh, all my new people. And some of you have been around for a long time may know this, may not. If you already know this, catch my other videos where I talk more about DeFi. And I'm gonna type in TRX because I'm gonna be able to select whether it's USDT stable token or Tron itself from the Tron blockchain, BTT. You see some of these options, Justin token, BTTC, BUSDT. I'm gonna select USDT on the top portion here. And then I'm gonna come he right here directly and I'm going to uh, type in um, Pulse, P-L-S, right? Or actually, I should type in Pulse so that it picks up Pulse Chain. And you're going to see right here, Pulse Chain. I'm simply going to select that on the bottom section where now I'm going to be able to send over USDT on the Tron blockchain and get that value sent over on Pulse Chain and get Pulse tokens, right? So I'm going to do $117, and you're going to see at the bottom here, it's going to show me that the $117 of USDT stable token from the Tron network will be exchanged over on Pulse Chain for three, oh, roughly 3.5 million Pulse tokens, right? We're going to click Exchange, and I'll go over to the wallet here as it sits, um, where there's only uh, 200,000, 204,202 Pulse currently. As of right now, but we'll wait till we get this exchange going. So I've clicked the exchange button. Now it's going it's gonna want to know your wallet address. Now it's gonna want to know your wallet address. It's gonna want that you're gonna want the pulse chain to actually show up in. So I'm gonna go, go into my Rabbi wallet. You won't be able to see it now, but I'm gonna be able to paste that here, that address, right? So I have the address that I want my $117 of USDT to be converted over on Pulse Chain. Simply gonna collect, uh, click Create Exchange. And this is where you're almost to the end, you're almost done, and then it, it'll be moments away from waiting until you receive your Pulse on Pulse Chain, transferring that over from the Tron network. So here is I'm simply going to click on the, this is a button to pull, this is not the right button. This button right here is gonna copy this address. And then I'm gonna go into my Tron wallet, right? I'm pulling up my uh, Tron link wallet. I'm simply gonna click that address to send it off. And I'm gonna type in um, the $117 that I said I was gonna send out. 
And then from there, once I submit that over, and let me go make sure I'm, I'm on my ledger, I don't operate anything without a ledger. The link will be in the, in the description. If you're interested in a hardware wallet, that is the safest way to operate through crypto. Don't keep your crypto on a software on a, a software um, wallet or an extension. It has to be a hardware wallet is uh, that I believe in the most. Okay, so I just sent over the 117 USDT over to the address that I just copied and paste uh, from Simple Swap. Now, what happens from here is you wait. You're going to be able to stay on this page here. I recommend in case something happens that you copy and paste this exchange ID here because if for some reason your tokens don't show up on the other end, it's been like an hour or two, you're gonna to wanna to email them and you're gonna need the exchange ID number. And usually when you reach out to them and you tell them that, hey, I transferred $117 from the Tron network to the Pulse Chain network, but it never showed up, they will reply in very quickly. I've dealt with them many times when this has happened, does it happen too often? And what happens from there is they go, oh, we, they reply back and they go, hey, it looks like it just went through. And I go and I go, oh, there are the tokens. So you'll see the operation details listed below. I'm going to get 3,502,201 Pulse tokens to the recipient address that I have uh, selected. We'll, we'll tune back in once this exchange is taking place because this will light up green and this will light up green as well. All right. And we're back. It looks like we're waiting for the sending to turn green. But I did notice as I hopped over to PulseX and on the PulseX exchange, I can see that the tokens are there. We're no longer sitting at 204,000 Pulse tokens. We actually got 3.7 million, which is the 3.5 million plus the 204,000 that was sitting there. And this is just slightly delayed, but you'll see here, finish successfully sending. So I have sent $117 of USDT from the Tron blockchain and converted it to show up in my wallet on the opposite end while using a Ledger hardware wallet being safe to receive 3.5 million plus Pulse chain tokens on the other end. And again, guys, when you do this, you can do the other way around. You can go from Pulse to Tron or from Pulse to Ethereum or from Binance Smart Chain to Pulse. And there's very many selections that you can go through by just going back to the tab here and selecting the option to get the Pulse Chain. So if you wanna do Binance Smart Chain, you would just simply type in BSC so that you can get the BSC network right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And you would scroll and you can see your option, the BSB, B, um, Binance Smart Chain token, USDC. Click it here. And just like I showed you earlier, if you type in Pulse, Pulse will either show up if it's available for this um, exchange or not, which it looks like it is, and then you can go, hey, let me send over one BNB value. And then it's going to tell you what the current rate is. One BNB gets you 15,979,359 pulse on the other end. So for my new users out there, now you know how to get to the Pulse Chain Network and from the Pulse Chain Network on multiple networks. There is the Pulse Chain Bridge as well that operates between Ethereum and Pulse Chain only. So here are your other options when you're dealing with other chains. Don't forget to smash the like button. Until next time, we'll do it again. Yeah, dog.